Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving into Hestis, an AI-powered sketch assistant for Autodesk Fusion 360 that's changing the way engineers and designer, designers sketch in CAD. If you ever spent ages adding constraints and dimensions manually, you're going to want to hear this. Let's break down what Hestis is, how it works, and why it might be a game changer for your workflow. Okay, Hestis integrates right inside of Fusion 360 and uses machine learning to predict what you want to do, giving you suggestions as you sketch so you can work faster and fewer clicks. Okay, as you can see, Hestis is already installed on my computer and it's pretty easy to install. Okay, but uh, what Hestis actually is, so what is Hestis? At its core, Hestis is an AI assistant that helps with Fusion 360 sketches. It watches your sketching in real time, understands your design intent, and then offers helpful suggestions like adding constraints, generating geometry, or applying dimensions. When you're stuck or you want to speed things up, this assistant props up, excuse me, pops up with relevant options you can apply instantly. Like it, it, um, I said, it predicts your move suggest constraints like tangents, perpendiculars, or equals, and uh, purposeful purposes, useful geometry, and automatically applies dimensions. Now, let's take a look at something real quick here to, um, to demonstrate this. Let's say you got a, um, we'll sketch a bunch of lines here. Now, let's say you're um, um, doing sketches and you have a picture under here, and you're just, sketching lines that you need. Just random lines. Um, there may seem random, but if you have a picture under here and you're putting these lines in and you're just um, putting them to the length of whatever you're um, trying to model, excuse me, sketch. Now we have our lines here. Now, over here, we have Hestis. Now our pop-up came up here already, what, um, what it does here. Now if this did not show up, you would come over here, click this, and click on Sketch Helper, and then this would pop up. But since it's already popped up, now what it does here, it gives suggestions of what um, to do with these lines. And as you can see right now, it says all line dimensions, so it's once it gives all these lines um, sketch dimensions, which you can do that. Now you use the um, comma and the period key to toggle between up here, all lines and dimensions, as you can see. Now you press enter, or you could click up here to accept it or reject it. And, or um, escape to actually get out of it. Now, if there is a problem with it, um, with this, you can actually port it right here um, by clicking this and report a bug, or you can click totally out of it. But now I have all these lines, and let's say I didn't have any dimensions whatsoever. Um, I didn't put any on these lines, and I just sketched the lines. And I want to go back and dimension all these lines. And there are several ways you could do this. Um, you could come up here and use this, let me come up here and um, get a dimension that way. Now, this has a dimension, and we have these three here. Now, instead of, um, if you notice, if I had to go back and do that to all of these lines, it's going to take some time to do that. But with this Hesta suggestion, it's going to do it for me. All I have to do is hit enter. And as you can see, it gave me the dimensions of um, these lines. And it does the same thing with the circle, too. If I put a circle... Now hit enter and it'll give me um, a dimension, but we can um, toggle between these by using the, um, the comma and the period keys up here with the circle. 
They have circle center lines. Now, suppose we need a center line in here. We can just hit enter. Now we have a center line here. Now we can move the circle over here and lock it to um, the center point. But what I want to do, since I have the center point here, what I can do now is just click um, coincident, click this, click this, and lock that there. And then I can lock these down too. And we can lock this line to this circle, just like that. So yeah, it's pretty uh, good things to do with this. So why it matters. But, um, you're asking, uh, why does it matter? Um, if you've used Fusion 360 for sketching, you know that manually applying constraints and dimensions is repetitive and time-consuming. And um, overlaying graphics, showing slow manual sketching versus AI Assistant here is great. That's what I um, just showed you guys how to do that. And with Hesus, many of those steps are automated. Instead of clicking through constraint tools one by one, Hesus suggests what you probably want next based on your current sketch. So you can focus on creativity and problem solving, not tedious clicks. Now, the core features of um, Hestis, and here are some of the main features you'll see when using Hestis. Constraint suggestions. Hestis identifies missing constraints and um, proposes them as you sketch. Generative geometry, it can create things like center lines or mirrored features intelligently and automated dimensioning instead of guessing what should be dimensioned. Hestis can do it for you with the click. Symmetry and mirror tools um, in the latest version, so if you download this um, now, you should get this, um, the symmetry and mirror tools, helps you enforce symmetry and mirror geometry faster than before. And um, so, yeah. So now, to wrap up this little quick um, video here, um, so who should use Hestis? Um, it's great for mechanical engineers, product designers, hardware developers, or anyone who spends a lot of time creating sketches in Fusion 360. And um, here's some pros of this, um, Hestis. You get faster sketching, fewer clicks, better constraint coverage. Now cons, you still need to understand sketch fundamentals. Remember that. This is a con. You still need to understand sketch fundamentals. Hestis makes suggestions, but you decide what applies. And it's an add-on, and it's not native to Fusion, so you have to download it and install it. Um, and it's pretty simple to do. So... If you're ready to speed up your Fusion 360 workflow and let AI handle the repetitive stuff, check out Hestis. Drop a comment if you want a full tutorial on installing and using it. And don't forget to like and subscribe. And thank you for watching. One last thing. Now, this Hestis um, tool here, it is free for download. So just download it, give it a try, and I'll leave a link to it um, in the description. So yeah, um, give it a try. And um, also, let's say something real quick here. This line is over here. Now, suppose I need these two to join. I can just um, hit enter. Now they're joined, just like that too. Or and that's joined just like that. So, if the geometry that you just sketched you need it um, all locked in. You can do all of that with this um, app also. So yeah. So anyway, that's going to do it. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And I also invite you to join my Facebook group and my Patreon site. Both are called Cad Bill Fly RC. Go over there and have a look um, at it. And if you can, become a pay, uh, member on my Patreon site. It's only $5 a month. And you have access to all the things I show you guys how this um model here on my YouTube channel. So that's going to do it for this, and I will catch you in the next video. Subscribe for more.